Hey guys, it's me, Arthur, and you're watching How to Draw Creepy Creatures. Now, this is a follow-up episode to the uh, Phobias uh, creature that I was suggested. So, I got a couple different colors that we're going to paint. It's got some blacks, blues, red, orange, yellow, and uh, we're just going to, we're going to have fun with it. So, we're going to do some uh, varying designs, especially with the clown makeup. That'll be fun to draw. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Now the first layer is going to be yellow because the snake spider is going to be green but we want it to be very bright and vibrant so we're going to put some yellow on underneath that to kind of make that stand out a little bit. <laughs> if the paint is a little bit too thick in some areas, maybe thin out that yellow with some clean water. Now we're going to move on to the green. We're definitely going to have to thin this out a little bit. I'm just going to do a thick coat first and then maybe stretch it out with a brush with some clean water on it. Now while the snake's body is drying, we're going to move on to the uh, the face. So I'm thinking we're going to do like a blue grease paint sort of look for the face. So I'm going to outline it first. Then we're going to stretch that outline over it with some clean water to kind of give it some depth, some dimension, maybe a little bit of shadow. Kind of negative paint around the mouth and the no the mouth nose and eyes because we don't want a blue to get there we got some other colors that we're going to make that we don't want it to look too blue Remember this creature is half spider, so uh, kind of outline those extra eyes at the top so they don't get lost with the rest of the picture. Now while the grease paint's drying, we're going to move on to the uh, the hair, we're going to make it yellow-orange, so we're going to do some streaks of red and orange and then add some streaks of yellow in there to kind of give us some depth, some dimension, some highlights.
Let's use a heavy layer of green paint here so that we can add some shadows to the body. We'll stretch it out with some clean water afterwards. Now we're going to take some dark, like heavy blue, we're going to make rings around the snake, kind of give it a very sort of Tim Burton, Beetlejuice sort of look. Now I was tempted to do scales, but that would take a really long time. I didn't want to make this video too long, so that, so that the snake's body wouldn't look too boring, I decided we'd do stripes instead. Now we're going to take some of that red and we're going to do uh, some classic clown makeup details such as red nose, red cheeks, red lips. Now leave a white area on the eyes, kind of show where the light's reflecting. Now when painting the nose, do the same thing as the eyes. You want it to look shiny, so remember to leave a white area to show like a reflection. Take some black to add and add makeup around the eyes, kind of give it a very sort of scary raccoon eyed look. Now carefully do the pupils. Fill in the additional eyes. All right, let's start painting the hat. You can really use any color you want. Uh, just sort of draw the outline first and then just sort of fill in the darker areas around the hat. Remember to keep it shiny so that you can see light reflecting off of it. Let's do a bright red-orange for the legs, kind of like what you would see in a centipede. 
That color choice will help it stand out against the green body. Now I'm going to make the tongue like a really gross, disgusting gray color. So what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to paint it really dark black, like part of it, and then I'm going to stretch that color out with some clean water. But we're going to keep it black in some areas so that it can represent shadow. Let's use some black to paint some stripes on the tongue. Let's carefully paint the outline of the syringe. Remember that it's supposed to be like clear glass, so don't make maybe uh, less is more there. Don't overpaint it. Alright guys, and you have just finished painting it. Now uh, like, share, and subscribe you guys. Remember that my email address and link to my Patreon page are in the description. Also check me out on Redbubble under the name Repunculus. And anybody who finished a lesson on the show and likes to show off your artwork, you just send it to me and I will show it off the show with your name so everybody knows that you did it. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.